This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, discounted prices, miniaturemarket.com. Hello my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here. Today we're getting on those trains again, but it's not just gonna be trains. The trains are going to be picking up passengers, taking them to different destinations, and hopefully getting you big points in the end. Today we're taking a look at the latest Ticket to Ride here available in North America called Ticket to Ride Germany. This originally had come out in Europe and it's been repackaged together along with what used to be the expansion. Now I'm not going to teach you how to play the game every rule. If you're not familiar with the Ticket to Ride series, watch my Ticket to Ride review, which I'll place in the description of this video. In this, we're just gonna show you exactly what's different from the normal version. So here we go. As I mentioned in the intro, I'm only gonna show you what's different in this version other than the standard original Ticket to Ride USA version. Now this is a base game. This is not just a map pack. So it does come with all the trains for up to five players. There's 45 trains of each of these colors. These three colors are also in the original Ticket to Ride, but there's two new colors, purple and white. There's also full-size playing cards for the train cards. I know many versions of the original Ticket to Ride come with the little tiny ones, and you used to have to buy an expansion to get these big cards, but now you get these big ones in this game that you could still use in the original Ticket to Ride. And notice that the artwork is different from the original one. We have the cool circus, the double-decker, and things like that. Now for the tickets, they're also the larger playing size cards, and there's two different types, short and long tickets. At the beginning of the game, you get to select a total of four tickets, any combination, but you have to mention which ones you're taking before you look at them. Uh, and then you gotta keep at least two, but you can keep as many as you want. Later on during the game, when you pull a new tickets for a turn, you can again, you have to pull four, but you can decide which ones you get before you look at them, but a total of four, and then you gotta keep at least one of them. Uh, so these are the longer ones, which are gonna be harder to get, but more points, and these are the shorter ones. The short ones come into play because there is a Globetrotter bonus in this version. Whoever gets the most tickets done will get 15 points. Now this brings in passengers. Here's six different colors of passenger meeples. There's two different types really. It's, you know, females and males. They don't matter what they look like. It's really just the colors. Because over the course of the game, you're going to be getting these. But I wanted to show you what they look like up close. Now here is the map itself. It's an elongated one going top to bottom. You'll see in the bottom right, there's different countries you can go to as well as the bottom left. Now you'll see those meeples are on there, the passenger meeples. They are randomly placed. They come in a black bag. Now you'll pull them out and you'll see these here. Some cities like Frankfurt there on the left will have multiple meeples, but most of them will have just one. And you're gonna be trying to do set collection, but here's a look at the map. Now if you go somewhere, let's say I played two cards of the same color. I was purple, I went here. I could take one passenger from each side that I place train. So I could take this one and any one of these that I choose. Let's say I take one of these ones. Now let's say later this yellow player went here. There's no passenger here, so they can't pick them up, but there is one here. They'll just take the one that's there. So if there's multiples, you can pick. If there aren't uh, any, you don't get any. If there's one, you take one, always on both sides of where you build. Now there's also tickets that get you to countries, like this one will go right to Paris. So there's country to cities. There's also ones that where you have multiple spots for the same country. But at the end of the game, these passenger meeples, if you have the most, you'll go through each color. And what if you have the most of that color, or at least tied for the most, you'll get 20 points. Uh, if you're tied with someone else, you both get 20, but there's no second place. If you have the most uh, strictly by yourself, then the second player will get 10 points for the, uh, the second most of the yellow. You do that for all of the colors, and then you'll add up the tickets like normal, give the globe trotter bonus, and then whoever has the most points at the end is the winner. All right, well, there is Ticket to Ride Germany. And as you know, if you've watched any of my videos, I love the Ticket to Ride series. It's been one of those games that I've been able to introduce more people into this hobby than any other game. And I love how they always come out with new things, with new twists, because it keeps this, it keeps it fresh. And every time they come out with a new one, it has just a little tweak and it does feel different for the people that have played it a ton of times like myself. So how does this one stand up to all the other versions out there that you could get? Well, let's first talk about the things that I liked about this. Well, hey, it came with two new colors and purple is my favorite color, so I love that. The purple and white trains are cool. Now you have more colors to offer people if you already have one of the base games like Europe or, or the, the, the standard USA version. Uh, I like the fact that you have that short and or long ticket decision to make. I believe there's, yeah, there's at least one other one that 
that does that. Uh, but they brought that here where you can decide whether to go for the short tickets, try to get that Globetrotter bonus, or try to go for those long tickets and try to get the bigger points. I like that you can decide which ones and that you have to decide before how many of each you're taking. Uh, and I like that aspect that it gives you, again, another decision point to make and another layer of strategy. Uh, th but this really, other than that, I mean, it's really basic Ticket to Ride, because this originally was Ticket to Ride Germany, uh, and it came out over there, and it was just the base game. It was it. it was, there were no special rules. There were pretty much nothing. And then they had added an expansion with the passengers. And so they put that passengers expansion in this box here. Uh, and so I like that they put them together because the passengers for me is the reason why this expansion is going to stay in my collection because I love the set collection aspect of this. Not just trying to fight over the passengers and trying to get the most points because if you get like two or three of those passengers in a, in a you know, let's just say a four player game, that's going to be a lot of points for you and you can really afford to concentrate on those. But the coolest thing is it really changes the way you typically play the game. Maybe you play the game like, hey, I'm going to get a bunch of cards. I'm not going to, and then I'm going to throw down a bunch of turns in a row and try to move my route up. Maybe you like to move sequentially from one of your start points to one of your end points. Some people play this differently, but when you play this with the passengers, you're almost forced to break the way that you usually play the game because you might not normally play this way where you're like, you know what? That's part of my route. I really want that green passenger. I'm going to play it now. I might be telegraphing where I'm going, but that's okay because I want that green passenger. Or it gets getting towards the end and you're like, I'm going to play these cards to go over here. I don't even care about this area, but it's the last green one I can get. So I'm really going to be focusing on that. It's just one little thing to think about, but man, does it change the way you play the game. And I love that aspect. It's definitely the best part of this whole thing is the passenger aspect. Um, I love the larger tickets. So you have the large tickets and the train cards. And those are cool because, you know, when I had bought Ticket to Ride back in the day, I had to buy like an old, what they called the 1910 expansion pack, which was the larger cards. Because usually it comes with the very small cards, which I hate because they're hard to shuffle. They're just not as nice and easy to see and look at and shuffle. You know, it's it, I like the larger cards. So I really like that this uh, <clears throat> has the larger tickets cards and the train cards. So anything I didn't like about it? Well... The first thing I gotta say is I'm quite curious as to why did this come out as a base game as opposed to say just a map pack because Ticket to Ride often comes up with these little map packs that are usually about 20 bucks online and it's usually a board, some new cards and maybe some new components. Uh, and I'm just wondering why did they pick Germany to have a whole nother base game where yeah you're getting two new colors of trains but is there really a reason to almost have it be twice that price for really the only big difference is that the meeples really. Uh, and I'm wondering if was the cost of the meeples so much that they might as well have made it a base game and added the trains anyway. Maybe that was just an incremental cost and it made sense. And I get that. But from a consumer's perspective, like why wasn't this in just a map pack? So a little like confusion here, but I think I would have liked to have just seen this in a, in a, in a regular pack without the extra tickets and without the extra cards and without the extra trains. And it probably would have kept the price down probably about half. Um, uh, another negative here is if you live in America, uh, unfortunately we don't find ourselves to be very geographically, let's just say we're geographically challenged most of the time, the average person. And so even though the cards are well defined on the ticket and which, where they go, we find ourselves having a hard time finding them, especially new players. Uh, but even if you've played Ticket to Ride before, it's like uh, people struggle with that the first couple times they play this, but that's with any map that doesn't have American cities on it. So it's a little bit negative there where a lot of people just like playing the original ones better because they know where the cities are. Another one is the rules were not clear on where to place the starting passengers in Austria. It had a little line. Apparently you're supposed to just choose one of the other, but it was very confusing as to, because I kept having one extra or one, one not enough, and the rules weren't that clear. They're a little minor nitpick. Um, and I think the game without the passengers would have just been a ho-hum, you know, vanilla ticket to ride with a little bit of difference with the tickets, but it wouldn't have been one that I would have wanted to keep. But having those passengers really made it good. So without those, it's just ho-hum. You could play it without it if you just want the different topography uh, and, and the geography. But other than that, uh, the passengers really add it. So if you like Ticket to Ride, you've played them all, uh, or if you, know, you don't even have the big cards and you're like, oh, I can get the big cards and another game for about the same price as you know, maybe the expansion and something else, then then maybe this is going to be one to look at. But I do like the passengers. I highly recommend it. It's fun. Uh, I probably would play some of the other maps that I've reviewed before this one. It's not the best, but it does take a very easy version of Ticket to Ride. And it's like the next 
barely step if you're trying to do something different other than the basic uh, America version. However, so does the Pennsylvania route, which also has America cities. I still think that's the best one to do the next step after they've played America. This might be the next best one after that for the beginners of Ticket to Ride, and that's Ticket to Ride Germany. And I'm gonna be keeping in my Ticket to Ride library. So let's induct it properly with a saxophone serenade. <laughs> This video was sponsored by Miniature Markets Review Corner. The Review Corner features podcasts, video, and written game reviews by gamers for gamers. Miniature Market, the online gaming superstore. Thousands of board games, discounted prices. Check them out at miniaturemarket.com.